Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus Christ, our King of kings and Lord of lords. Um, we just watched a video about uh, should we fight the New World Order. And uh, what was coming to me, uh, I could I agree with I agree with you uh, that we pray and seek the Lord and seek to die daily and get the word in us and we have the sword of the spirit and also the Lord was showing me in my spirit man that the natural realm everybody's looking and focusing on the natural realm and we cannot we don't have guns big enough and and, and operating with their weapons and the way they do things it's always something external something external something external and we operate by the spirit as Christians so we are to fight with the weapons that we have which are spiritual weapons we are not to fight with the weapons of man because those weapons are futile they are inventions of man God says he hates he abhors the inventions of man so our weapons are the spirit it is obedience to Christ it is getting into the word we overcome the serpent we overcome the dragon by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony and that blood is living it's precious it's holy it is spirit filled hallelujah the Holy Spirit operates in and through the blood of Jesus and the devil hates it he hates it hallelujah amen amen and you know the scripture was coming to me about those who live by the sword are going to also die by the sword and you know the word of God is true that's just all there is to it and in this time you know, the Bible predicts, as he said in his video, that these things are going to happen. These things are going to come to pass, and neither you or I or the man in the moon or anybody is going to stop it. Uh, it's destined to take place. This nation is destined for the fall. This nation is destined for destruction. And God's judgment is on it. Amen. And there is nothing that we can do about it the line has long been crossed long time ago and you know the thing is now these things you were talking about you know these are the manifestations of the flesh of the wickedness but there's also another side to it which is the spiritual side and you know the, the Lord I think the Lord is zooming in on that spiritual side you know especially right now because there's so many that have a um, a perverted gospel right. and they they are fornicators spiritually right and you know they're adulterers spiritually and they're you know they're into all this perversion in the spiritual way right you know and God says hey you better listen up here you better get straight and you better get right and you better get this filthiness cleaned out of your heart and mind because I'm coming and if you're going to stand in this hour you better get some clean hands on you. Amen. Lifting up holy Hallelujah. hands to Amen. me in this Glory time. to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. And lift up those holy hands and pray. You know, it says in Timothy, Paul says, you know, I, I want you to pray for all those in authority that we may lead a peaceable life. Okay. Now, with man, it's impossible to save any man. But with God, all things are possible. Paul's not talking about praying for their salvation. He's talking about praying that we can live a peaceable life. All these wars, all these, all this upheaval and this chaos, this disorder is meant to, um, to quelch, to put down God's people. See, God has a representative people in the earth today, and it's his church. And we are to be the expression of Christ in the earth. And the devil wants to put that down. He wants to starve it out. He wants to destroy it. Okay, but he cannot destroy it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, against the truth of Christ Jesus who he is. It will not prevail. It will not win. The new world order will not win. And it's not new. It is the world order that has been around since the fall of man and it you know it's always something that is uh, just control 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 witchcraft control people manipulate people you know the money system it's all fake it's all a lie see and it's being exposed as a lie now you Christians out there 
You are you are believing that your money and all this and everything is safe. It's all a lie. Okay, you're going to find out. It's just it's just air. It's nothing. Okay, and where are you going to be? You have to be strong in the Lord because these things are coming faster and faster and faster. You have to be obedient, and when God tells you move, get out, do this, do that, you do it right away. Yes, don't worry about obedience. yeah. Don't worry about your job. Don't worry about anything. See, because. Our life depends on running the race, on being faithful to Jesus, okay? He, he, we're only faithful because He was faithful. We're only able to love Him because He first loved us, see? It's nothing in us. We can't depend on ourselves. We have to depend on the Lord. We have to call out to Him and say, yes, Lord, make me obedient. Make me right, Lord. Keep me running in the race. Excuse Amen. me, and just keep running the race. Amen. Don't give up. Okay, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Hallelujah. You no, know, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> you know, the devil is always going to try to push us out of our place, push us off our post. You know, trying to scare us into leaving our post, or um, try to put fear on us for this or for that, or blah 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 blah. You know, and we have to. You know, I feel for people that that don't know about spiritual warfare and and are not fighting the good fight because they don't know us about spiritual warfare and the enemy comes in and literally lays them lays them flat you know and this is so important in this hour we need to be crying out lord god you know <clears throat> have i just wasted so much time have I been in the world and just keeping my mind on all these worldly things and I haven't got my heart prepared, God? What am I going to do? I haven't been preparing. I haven't been in your word. I don't know how to do spiritual warfare. The enemy is coming up, coming after me and upon me and, and I can't do it, oh God. Right. I can't, I can't remember the word because I haven't right. studied it. Right. See? Because the word says, God says he sits upon the flood. Okay. The Lord sits upon the flood the flood and the bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood and he will okay <laughs> and he does mm -hmm. then the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him yes. see god is on top of the flood god has everything under control all this stuff that's going on in the world it is all that the lord is, is just allowing to happen he's even causing it to happen those, those demons can't do anything except they get approval from the throne, okay? See? And and once they get approval, they go and, 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 the, and the angels, you know, the holy angels are working in this, okay? And God has spiritual forces that are so outnumber. They outnumber the devil's forces. I mean, they outnumber the devil's forces. I mean, we, we have chariots of fire all around us. We need to stand strong and proclaim the truth of God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. And preach it and say, this is the truth. Okay? You, you know, devil, you're walking on the wrong territory. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ has redeemed mankind and redeemed the earth. Hallelujah. See? And it's all manifesting. He's, he's manifesting it to be so. All creation is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. And it's coming to fruition. It's coming to be manifest for all to see that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, praise God. You know, the thing is that, you know, it, you know ju let's just say that someone listening has not been preparing as God has been showing you to do spiritually, has not been in the Word, has not been uh, soaking up their mind with the things of the Lord and in <laughs> worship and in truth and uh, in prayer. You know, once again, the only thing left to do is to fall to your knees in repentance to God, repenting for these things, and then crying out to God, to do a quick work in you to prepare you for this time and the warfare that it is entails because I am telling you, we are telling you, the warfare is intense. And the warfare continues to be more and more intense. But praise God, hallelujah, the Spirit of God will raise up a standard and He does raise up a standard against the evil. And you know, we can stand in the face of the evil and say, no devil, no. Amen. And no. Amen. And that, you know, it's not by might, 
not by power, but by my spirit, Amen. saith the Lord. See, Amen. and it's it's that spirit of humility. It's that spirit. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Okay, who though he was in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he emptied himself. Okay, and he became a servant. He became a slave. Okay. And he, he was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Mm -hmm. Now, God's calling us as his children. Are we going to be obedient unto death, mm -hmm. even the death of our own bodies? See, not then right now, before that takes place, before the persecution breaks out in the streets, are we being obedient unto the self-denial, yeah. unto yeah. taking up our cross daily, denying ourselves, okay, and following him? See, amen. Mm -hmm. That's that is first. first, you know. First. What are we doing with our hands? Have we already taken the mark of the bees? Some of us? Mm -hmm. Have we? Mm -hmm. See? What are we doing with our minds? What are we thinking about? What are we spending our time doing? See? What's consuming us? Yes, what is consuming yes. us? Let us keep our focus on Jesus. Oh, God, help your people even right now, Lord. And, you know, we have the advantage. We made a video called, We Have the Advantage. Selah. See, we are Christians. We are walking by faith, not by sight. Okay? And what does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? What does that mean? What does that you mean? You know, that's the thing right there, you know, because in this time, this dark time, uh, in this dark time that we're ending into, and even in right now, we have to know that the light of the faith of the Lord God Almighty in us that even though we can't see with these physical eyes we may not be able to see what we know in our heart to be true what we know what the Word of God says to be true and we say but God I can't see it I don't see it happening God I don't see this manifesting God well we have to know and have the faith and let it rise up in us and and say yes but the Word of God says the Lord God Almighty says Amen. and then as we we do that and believe that and that Amen. faith comes to life in Amen. us Amen. then we're going to see it with our eyes right because faith is the substance it's right. the foundation of the things hoped for right. the evidence of the things not seen Amen. hallelujah we are going to walk in victory hallelujah Amen. okay let me put this out there all right look all right, you are let's just say alex jones or jeff france or or these guys that fight the new world order you know full time and they're 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 making a living out of fighting the new world order that's well and good they're informing people you know uh... they like to say knowing the truth and the truth makes you free no it's if you continue in the word of god if you continue in jesus's word then are you his disciple indeed then you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free okay it's not knowing the truth about the new world order that makes you free it's knowing jesus that makes you free it's continuing in his word okay but see what if you had all the nuclear bombs in the world and you had all the machine guns that you're just, and it's all yours and all the gold is yours and all the silver belongs to you and it's all yours then what then then you you have the power then see you have man's power you see you have the power of self in you see and what does that get you freedom or bound up see Rockefeller's all locked up in his big mansion see the Rothschilds all locked up in their big castles over in England, see, because they're all afraid. Stalin, he, he, Stalin in, in, in Russia, he went to a different room every night and slept in a different room because he was living in constant fear, see, that someone was going to do him in, someone was going to kill him, see. Because when you're working for the devil, you live in a life of fear, a life of fear and torment, see. The tormentors come in. God sends the tormentors to you, okay. So we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, and he's not afraid. He's not fearful. He's not worried about the New World Order. He's not worried about all this other stuff, okay? But I do believe that God calls us to, to preach the gospel. That's first number one right there. Preach the gospel. Lead people to Jesus. Tell them the truth, okay? Let the Holy Spirit have an open door to bring his holy conviction in and to convict people of their sin and to convict them so that they know that they are hell-bound sinners and they need Jesus okay amen. amen and that way the kingdom of God is advanced hallelujah you know this is a wicked society we live in and he has all of his children protected amen. but if you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and this is not only for you but this is for all God's people you hear that voice say get out Take a trip to New Mexico or 
go up to Oregon or wherever. Get. Go. See? Do it. Because it could mean your physical life. Because God might want you to keep you here to lead others to Jesus after certain destructions are about to take place. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, um, you guys, it's it's coming down. It's just coming down so fast, just like a Gatling gun. Amen. And we're going to be hearing it more and more and more, just like a boom. Okay, here we go again. Boom. boom and boom, boom. And boom. Boom. And you know, you were talking about the New World Order, guys. You know, <coughs> who's given these guys their glory? You know, I was reading in the Bible the other morning, and, you know, the Bible specifically says that the devil has given the glory of all these nations to who? To those that will fall down and, and worship, worship him. him. Hallelujah. You know, and, and we all need to ask ourselves, you know, do we have the Ooh. glory? Or do we have the glory of any of these nations? Do we have this, uh, just the wealth of this world, just oh, the glory of I this see world? You know? yeah. Do we have the glory of this world and these nations? Yeah, the comforts of life. Yeah, yeah. and just, well, you know, I mean, uh, the Bible says he gives, he has the power, the devil has the power to give of the glory of this world to somebody. So, you know, we all need to check ourselves and say, God, you tell me if this is the case of my life in any area. You yeah, know, because what is the, the glory of man? See, the glory of man, okay, man thinks that having stuff and materialism and all this other stuff, that's his glory. See, I, I understand what you're saying. Let's make it a little more clearly. That So you're saying that Satan is promising people yes. promising them all this stuff mm -hmm. if they will just worship him yeah. so okay so when we hear that what we think is that people are bowing down to a statue or maybe they're going to the bohemian mm -hmm. club or maybe they're doing this or that but in all actuality it could be that the people are just consumed and these are for you christian okay that is doing this you're consumed with your self and everything okay. to do with and everything to do with yeah. self mm -hmm. okay and you're not focused on Jesus you're not focused on taking up your cross daily and following him denying your self Jesus said if we don't do that we're not even worthy to be his disciple right. okay so are we doing are we denying our self taking up our cross daily and following him or are we bowing down to self and everything self represents and then uh, worshiping that wicked fallen nature, that wicked fallen way, worshiping that, and then receiving all these benefits because of it. See, mm. and 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 so let's ask the Lord to show us this. Hallelujah! You know, God wants all of us to be fired up. Okay, now one time Sharon did a study about volcanoes. You know, and. And how that lava just comes right out of the mouth of that volcano. And the Bible says in Jeremiah 23, verse 29, that his word is like a hammer and like a fire, okay, that breaks the rock in pieces, okay. And the Bible says that the word, the fire comes out of the mouth of the witnesses, all right. And so it's like I can just feel the Lord rising up within me. And Sharon, I know Sharon can feel it. And, and it's like a fire coming out. See, it's that truth, all right. Satan's kingdom is built upon lies, upon upon lies and and deception and trickery and manipulation. Yeah, deceit all the way through. Okay, that's why Jesus told the Pharisees, see those religious people, they just did the religious thing. You have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do. Okay, he was a murderer from the beginning, hating others. See, you know, in the Christian church, we have this: people hate other people. It's just it's so wicked. It's wicked in God's eyes. And God's fixing to crush it. See, He's crushing it right now. Hallelujah. Well, He says, if you're, you're of me, you're going to love me. That's right. He says that if you're mine, you're going to hear me. Right. And also, you're going to hear those I send. <laughs> if you're. That's of, right. If you me. receive, if you receive whoever I send, yes. you receive me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's just we'll boil this down. Okay. And, and God wants to boil all of us down. He wants to go to the <laughs> bottom, and, and he wants to, you know, help us. He wants us. to put the pressure yeah, on. Yeah, God wants, he's putting the pressure on to yes. get out that good oil and that good wine out of yes. us. And he wants us to plow up, to to plow up, you know, to, what is it, mm. um, 
to break up that fallow break ground, okay? Yeah. Break it up and let God do it. That's what all this stuff with the economy and people losing their jobs. God's breaking up your fallow ground, yes. see? Let him come in and take his, his uh, big plow in there and just rip out all that old mm-hmm. stuff that's just of the devil and of the world and of the flesh. Let him plant that and, good seed. Yeah, let him get that good plant in there of, mm-hmm. of the love, joy, peace, you know, goodness, meekness, temperance, you know, self-control. Things that all, Yeah, and, and, yeah. and the fruit of the Spirit, you know. It's all about Jesus Christ. Christ, not about us. Right. And let us be faithful witnesses unto Christ, okay? Let's be faithful witnesses unto the death. Let's let us not love our lives, okay? We Hallelujah. love not our lives unto the death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, let's just I just want to pray for people right now. And uh Father, I Thank just you, come Father. we just come before you right now for people, Lord. Oh my gosh. And I pray, Lord, that you would just go through people's hearts and pierce their hearts, oh God, with your truth. And I pray, Lord, that you go, will go through there like you did in the temple with the cat and nine tails and go through those temples, that our temples, Lord, and get rid of everything that is not of you, Lord yes, God. Father. Turn over every table that doesn't have your your purity in it and your will in it, Lord. Hallelujah. And what you want instead of Hallelujah. what we want, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just go through, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord God, that you would just bring conviction where conviction is needed, Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray, Lord, that people will, that will all fall to our knees, Lord God. Yes. And Lord. let you be the boss, Lord. And let you Hallelujah. be the one yes. that's running things, yes. Lord. And say, not my will, but your will Hallelujah. be done, Lord God. And Lord, get us ready. And, and let your spirit rise up in us even more and more and more. Rise up, O oh God, and your people. Hallelujah. Rise up, O oh God. And scatter your enemies. And scatter Lord. your enemies, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you will do a quick work of instruction, Lord, in spiritual warfare with your people. Hallelujah. That they be able to, to fight in this battle, Lord, and also be able to stand. And, at when, and when they've done everything else that you told them to do. Stand. Everything else. Hallelujah. That they will stand. Hallelujah. And be able to stand. And see the salvation of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. And just watch him do it. And watch him Hallelujah. do it. Hallelujah. With the full armor of Hallelujah. God on. Amen. Yeah. Glory.